The two were attached as if they were one. That was what happened and what was destined to happen because of love. That was their theory. Whether they worked or ate, they were together. Even here today, at the crop laboratory, they found their way to this secluded place to spend private time together. Perhaps, a place where they could lay their bodies on each other. A quiet and fragrant place. A place like that. As soon as the two stepped into the laboratory, they were in awe. Amongst the flickering insects flying around, flowers had blossomed. It was a beauty. A sight that was not seen anywhere outside. Moreover, the petals were a beautiful deep pink shade. Just like the rosy flush on their cheeks. The two pushed over different stashes of paper and books off a wooden table. Then they peeled off all their clothes, embraced one another, and shared warmth. When they had to exert physical force, they would grab onto the old and tangled branches laying around. Then, when they turned their head to the right, they found a skeleton. Oh my! Those skeletons are entangled like we are. We will love until our deaths, like them, won't we? I love you, my gem. Time passed and nightfall came. Now, there was no warm sunlight that seeped through the gaps. Yet, the two didn't stop. They had nothing to fear. As they had light from the green substance that filled test tubes. It seemed like there was nothing that could stop the two. Just like the one that had once stayed here. He continued his research until his materials had been destroyed. Was this place under some stubborn spell? The two continued to whisper sweet nothings to each other. I will love you until this body tears down. Yes, this is what special love is all about.